Oi boys, welcome back, welcome back to another episode in our Penrith Panthers career mode series. First of all, real quick, as usual, if you're enjoying the series and would like to see more Rugby League Life 4 content, hit up that comment section with a hash, tag, odd squad, and also run up the likes for your boy as it does help the channel and share baby, it's $3.99, you can't argue with that price, am I right? So for today's game, we are in the Sunshine State, taking on my Brisbane Broncos, if you didn't know, I am a Brisbane Broncos supporter in real life, and now uh, we are cruising through the series, or the season I should say, as we are in round number 9, but mates, we are kind of teetering between playing decently and struggling. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, I will have posted that the teams that I uploaded to the fan hub have been updated somewhat. I just found out not long ago that James, yeah, James Roberts has been signed to the Tigers. So that's the, that's the latest signing at the moment. And I've pretty much done all the changes from before James Roberts. There'll definitely be a, a ton more signings to come in the future as we, geez, what a moment in the match. Two behemoths, two young Titans clashing and really Kikau and Payne Haas. Payne Haas getting the better of the big Fijian. But yeah, there's still plenty of players that have been released from clubs whose futures are uncertain. It's for sure going to be an interesting off season going into 2021. As on the third, the Broncos, plenty of ball here. Can they put together a meat pie? As they send it to the middle and it's Paddy Carrigan. On the last, where do they go? They go to Milford. Milford just drops it. Oh, who's out of the bump? Payne Haas almost just powers his way over. That would have been an annoying try to concede. As Milford did kind of stuff it up for them. It'll be a bit of a mission trying to get out of our own half here. Typically is when we're starting from within our 10. I think I may have mentioned it in the past, but man, it's it's hard to be consistent at this damn difficulty level. But so far, nine rounds in, I'm enjoying the challenge. That's a beautiful ball. Draw and pass. I don't know about that one, though. As <laughs> we panic. Oh, we oh, would have been yeah. away there, I think. We kind of panicked and just passed it back in field. As I thought we were running out, but... It'll be the Broncos here with another opportunity to put some points on the board. So they go to Paddy Carrigan. Not sure if he's the skipper. It's either him or Milford. As Payne Haas gets tackled just beyond the 10. A lot of running here early on for Payne Haas. A lot of involvement. Fifth and last. They go to Milford running onto it. Drops it on the toe. And it's the fullback, Jermaine Asako. We kind of read the play there with Corysel, but he got stepped in the end. And now the Broncos do draw blood first. As Farnworth takes the kicks. Alright. Six up, 20 minutes in. Broncos in possession. They're, uh, they're making meters. Much easier than we are, but we do get an interception. A little pick for Mansour. As we go to Jerome Luai, plenty of space around the middle, but Asako ankle taps us. And we are on the 10. See if we can start to cook here as we go to Cleary. Okay, then. Why was Tetevano that deep? Like, why? What, what am I playing? As they line up to the right, Cleary. Ooh, the little show and go runs into a brick wall. But they quickly set up to the left. We don't go there. And uh, it's looking a bit choppy here from us as we go to Luai on the last. He puts it on the toe for himself. A little bit of grubber kick cheese, but we'll take it. We'll get on the board. All right, just like that, we tie it up. Return serve with the grubber kick of our own. Right 
There's not much time left in this half. Three minutes to be exact. As we once again struggle to get out of our own 20. We need some bumps or some fins, something. As we bump off one and get... Alright, who was that? That was a shocking run. Broncos quickly shifted to their right edge. They had the numbers. Luckily for us, there's only a minute remaining. We should be sweet. As we try to lay on Milford, I don't want to give the penalty away. And it's going to be Asako dying with it. And we get saved by the bell. Sheesh, what a, what a tough half, man. Our big boys are struggling to struggling to make meters. I know it says we have 12 line breaks, but what even constitutes a line break on this game? Defense is pretty good. We've only missed four tackles. But once again, a reoccurring theme at halftime are these handling errors, man. We've made four so far. As for the Broncos, 48% possession, four from five sets, two errors, one penalty conceded, 41 tackles, three missed tackles, and two line breaks. I mean, it doesn't really look like it on paper, but it definitely feels like they have the upper hand at the moment. We need a spark or something. It's been much of the same for pretty much 60 minutes or coming up to 60 minutes. Bit of a power struggle ever since both teams scored. We do get a nice play to the left of us as we go to Cleary. Cut out border, Burton. But he just gets tackled off the ball. Even our bench is struggling, boys. Even our bench. As Liotta just runs through, looks for a pass back in field. And a little bit of uh, a little bit of luck. We score a pretty fortuitous try here. I mean, shit, we'll take it, eh? I mean, sometimes during games like this, extremely tight matches, all it takes is a little error for the tides to turn as Cleary gets us out to a converted try lead. Alright, so we do well defensively here. Brian Toto, nowhere near as damaging as he is in real life, which is a shame, really. I'm pretty sure his strength and his speed is pretty I'm pretty sure it's near max. But we can barely break it uh, break a tackle with Toto. As we drop it back on the inside to Dylan Edwards, that's a beautiful ball. We kind of handbrake it there and we get tackled. But on the third, we go out the back to Cleary. He goes wide. Fisher Harris pops a short one to Burton. And Burton, once again, it's pretty much gone back to a power struggle. 15 remaining. Let's see if we can hold this lead as we go for a midfield bomb. Kind of a poor kick option. I was looking for the bat back, but that rarely works. As we enter the final 10 minutes of the match, the Broncos in possession around the 50. On the second, they go wide. And it's TPJ, the former Bronco. On the third, ooh, they just can't, can't put it together. The Broncos make yet another error. And here we go, Cleary with the fend. Can we just cheese our way around Osaka with the back? No, we can't. But on the second, we get a beautiful shape to the left. And that's a good ball, but Dylan Edwards is gassed. Nothing in the tank, literally. As on the third, the halves link. Nathan Cleary has copped a few shots this match. We go to Fisher Harris. Oh, that's a nice offload. Man, it's a it's a scrappy game from both teams. But we do get the tackle count reset. This will run the clock down. Moses Liotta. A little bit of a bump. And on the first, Fisher Harris. Driven backwards. That's Man, that's a theme for all our forwards. Luai looking for Crichton. That's a beautiful ball. As we score in the corner. What a try. What a try right there. I don't even think we had the numbers. I think we just drew in their winger. And Mansour went over untouched. 
full time, full time. Finally, we pick up our fourth win of the season. And uh, the inconsistency continues. Coming off a loss, we pick up a dub. Hopefully, we can go back to back in the next match. But as always, if you enjoy this Rugby League Life 4 content and would like to see more, be sure to run it straight at that like button. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you. you, 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 you. Later.